and welcome back to Dyson Sphere program. Off camera, I built graphene chemical plants already and you didn't miss much. It's basically the same nine chemical plants for graphene, same as nine chemical plants for sulfuric acid. If you didn't see that episode, I'll throw the link at the top. You can go and watch that. It's basically the same setup, but even more simple. We have only two inputs. So one of them is sulfuric acid, which comes right from here and feeds in right there. And the second one, we built 18 uh, uh, smelters for graphite. And it's just right here across the street. Now we have crafted everything we need to start making towers. And I'm going to make them manually. What is missing? Oh, we need um, more titanium. Well, then let's fly over and get some titanium. Oh, 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 oh. We get some gravi gravitational pull. Oh yeah, and I also set up smelters for silicon. It's basically the same setup uh, exactly as we did for titanium mines. If you didn't see that, uh, check the episode at the top. All right, let's grab some. We drop the tower. Oh no. And sometimes when on the rare occasion, even now when we are getting into our mid game, every now and then you might need to craft something manually and it helps a bunch when you have like these storage boxes piled up. I think some of them I have a bit too much, but oh well, they take a while to build. I think it's 30 seconds for one. Mm, where's the time? Yep. Oh no, 20 seconds for the planetary logistics station and then 30 seconds for interstellar. I think we have five in the making. We have two ready. Let's set them up. The position we're going to put these, it's not permanent. Let's put it right in front of that titanium box. Let's give it a power. Demand. We're going to keep it on local supply. And the second tower we will need to set up. I'm going to put one right here. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be permanent position for the tower. I think we're going to have some power issues soon as well. Where are we? 79%. Yeah, we need to build some more. We need to build some more power. Some towers. And I'm just going to go to North Pole. And let's put some concrete over here I don't like to destroy all the water I'm gonna keep some but we need space for towers I could technically set up the towers anywhere but I kind of like to start at the poles and we're not trying to be perfect here we just need power well to be more precise, we just need to feed the towers now. When they're fully charged, it's going to take a bit of the load off the power. Let's just set up enough for the future. I know at this stage of the game, I could set up, um, what is it, thermal power plants on these. And I, I would get way more power way quicker. Although, I'm not sure if it's quicker because setting up these towers is pretty fast and simple. And what is our power situation? We are at 135 capacity. Perfect. And now we have a supply of titanium. Well, not yet. We still have to set up the other station. Wait, before we go, let's make sure we have enough power with us. Let's charge first. I've made this mistake plenty of times, like going off the other planets somewhere else with an empty battery and not enough um, power with you. It can be a problem. And we have figured out this is the perfect spot where we have to place the station. The first thing what we need to do is we need to get rid of all of this. When I played with like regular resources, this was painful. I try never to do this kind of things, but now when playing with infinite resources, this feels like... Why is not deleting? Um, because the box is full. Okay, makes sense. Yes, delete. Now the position of the tower... 
So we're going to build another one, another, another line of 15 smelters right next to it. So whoop, we're going to place this one right in the middle. So right here. And I placed this belt here. So this, ah, can't see anything. Um, so this belt shows where I need to place it. Okay, right here. I think this is correct. Let's just double check everything. Let's open the grid in the middle. And this one is also in the middle. Perfect. Um, before we start setting up those lines, we need to pull these resources in. And one thing you have to do when, if you're new to the game, you actually have to set up what resource you're going to take. Otherwise, the station, it doesn't take any resources in because you haven't specified what resource the station is going to accept. So as you, as soon as you click Titanium War, it starts flowing in. Um, the next one, we need Titanium. This is going to be remote remote demand in the future. This is going to be remote demand, local local storage, and these is going these are going to be remote supply and local supply. Um, now let's feed the other two belts in. Oh, before we do, 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 do let's not waste these resources. Let's put them in. Still, I still kind of feel bad about wasting resources. Although we are in infinite mode and none of it matters. Ah, we haven't we haven't built any ships yet. I forgot. Okay. So yeah, we also need to start making these. Okay, okay. So we're gonna set up um, all of this in a hub. So it's automated, but first we have to set up a couple of towers before we can automate all of that. Now, very uh, careful things that we got to do in here. Output belt going to be here. Let's make it color organized. So this one is going to be input. No, wrong belt, wrong belt. Now I hope I measured this distance correctly. Because I really don't want to remake this in the future. So now we have set up one half of these and then we're going to set another um, row of 15 and rather another three rows of 15 which is going to feed back into the tower. So on this run gameplay I'm doing right now, I'm trying to make everything like super efficient for the late game. So we're going to maximize all the space we have on the planet and I know it's going to kill uh, my frame rate eventually. I think with this we are officially out of early game I suppose since we have the logistics stations but now we have to automate all the logistics stations and all the all the ships and, and engines thrusters whatever they call logistics vessels and reinforced thrusters we have to automate them and add them to the hub and I'm gonna add that in a future episodes and I might change a little bit the format that I'm uploading the videos um, I'm still trying to find my footing in the YouTube I don't know if I want to post more like gameplays or more like guides or mix of both or I guess you'll just have to see <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode click the like button 
Um, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And yeah, with that, I'm out and bye-bye.